parents in Southampton are appealing to raise £30,000 to go towards herbal treatments for their four-year-old son. Phelan was diagnosed with neuroblastoma, which started as a cancerous tumour, but has now spread around his body. Doctors have said he only has a 10% chance of surviving. Our reporter Kirsty Chambers went to meet him. Every year, less than 100 children are diagnosed with neuroblastoma. It's the second most common tumour to be found in children under the age of five. After Phelan's tumour was removed, he was given the all clear. But just seven months later, his family was told devastating news. So the tumour itself has been removed. It was removed during the first uh, time we, we were in, in hospital. Uh, he had a surgery and uh, got taken out. However, um, at the moment, because it spread before uh, it was diagnosed, they've removed the source of the problem, but the cells are developing because they are in the skull, they are in the, 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 one of the limbs, according to the last scan we had. You know, they, they are in the, spread over uh, in the bones. Once the cancer came back, doctors told Phelan's parents that there was no cure for it this time. He now only has a 10% chance of surviving. I would say that was one of the most difficult moments because um, it's one thing being um, informed about the problem your child has. The first time you, you've, you've taken the heat. But then when you had the positive side that is gone and you were happy and then uh, maybe months down the line you get another information that oh it's coming back you know you start asking yourself what would i have done to make it work and what would i have done to prevent it from coming back when we were told that feelings relapse um, I was of really high hopes because previously we've been told um, if it should come back again, there's so many things that could be done with feeling. So I did not know then that it means on being on palliative care, whereby there is no cure to the disease at all. Being told that I was really devastated that he's only got 10% chance of a cure and that they don't know of any medication that could actually cure him at this present time. For Cynthia Jordan, being told there's no cure for her child was devastating, but it also pushed her to find alternative treatments for her son. I think that sends me into searching for a cure because I said no. There's no way that I'm going to just sit down there and see if he'll slip away just like that. Um, because he's been a fighter and he's still fighting and there is more hope. So far as there is life, there is hope. And that my research led me on to um, alternative treatments. Through just giving pages and crowdfunding sites, the family are appealing to raise £30,000 to start a herbal-based treatment. To start with, we just asked people to support us to raise a minimum of 30,000 to start the journey. Then, depending on what we find out later, whether we need more or less, but we're hoping that Phelan wouldn't need that much. The treatment works by boosting Phelan's immune system through nutrients and vitamins. We're looking at a treatment whereby we boost in the immune system and using some sort of orthodox medicine to help him to to fight the disease and have a cure for it. So we're using nutritional therapies, we're using herbal medicine where possible. The family have set up events and fundraisers to help boost donations. All of the money raised will go towards treatments and travel expenses. They also hope to fulfil some of Phelan's dreams during this traumatic time. Kirsty Chambers for That Solent.